all right let's see we get this hey everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm gonna take you again behind the scenes of a balloon design that i have been with a consistent client who's an entrepreneur if you haven't seen this video make sure to check it out it was at disney this time it is not at disney it's still a pop-up shop for her but it's at the marriott hotel and so it was a different experience and i will talk about oh my god there's like a big loss like floating in my car wait don't get in my car oh my god hold on <laughs> all right that was really close <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually on my way to get some balloons. I had some really a challenging last two weeks. I told my program designers and I kind of put it on my social media when I was in and out of it, but I lost my dad. I can't even muster the words for it. And it's been an interesting experience because my dad was an amazing person. He just wasn't a full-time dad. He wasn't really the best parent. So I'm going through an experience that I don't know. I don't have words. I'm still grieving. It's still a thing. So we shall see what's going on because we don't know. So right now we're, I'm on my way to the balloon store I'm about to drive now and then I'm just gonna I just flew back home yesterday so today is February 23rd 24th and it's around like 2 15 in the afternoon and I flew back yesterday from New York and we he was cremated so we just had a viewing it's a, it's a crazy experience I am just processing at this time so don't feel bad for me I know a lot of people go through similar situations and it's just and I want to document my journey like this is part of me becoming an entrepreneur life gets in the way and you don't know where it will take you so let's just go to the balloon store and process one day at a time and then I'll talk to you guys as I get the stuff I got the balloons but I wanted to come on here to kind of explain because I was in a rush and that's exactly how I've been feeling and I wanted to share a beautiful post that I don't know if you ever experienced this but like on Instagram they have like a suggested post and it could be something someone you don't follow so it says you are enough even on the days you don't feel like it on your lowest days you feel you know the ones where you don't even feel like getting out of bed you're enough on those days too you're enough even when your heart has been hurt by someone you love and care about on the days where you stand in front of the mirror and don't feel like yourself you're enough on those days too when you're exhausted run on your feet run off run off your feet and didn't finish everything you needed to that day you're enough then too you are enough you are always enough and you will always be be kind to yourself today in a ways so i'm a spiritual person and as i was driving back i was like you know the perfectionism with me has always stemmed from childhood because i always felt that if i was perfect people would love me and people would want to be with me and they won't disappoint me and they won't leave and a part of that's due to my dad i know there's a lot of people who follow this channel who watch this video who suffer from perfectionism now perfectionism can be a gift as well right i had a really great conversation with my godmother and she said but you that ensures that you always make sure your clients are happy right because that perfectionism is a driving force to ensure your work is up to the standard for your clients it's okay for you not to be happy with your work but when your clients are happy that is the biggest that's the reason why you're doing business and I thought that was so monumental because you know losing my dad recently it's put me in a funk it's hard to wake up because I don't sleep good and then I'm tired the next day so it's such a vicious cycle I told myself I'll probably have to walk after this event I'm not gonna walk tonight I will say this as I always do on my channel if you've lost someone you love if you're grieving in any way 
or if you're holding grudges towards someone who has caused you pain I will tell you this from the person who's on the other side of it let it go the one thing I wish I don't regret because I try not to not live my life with regrets um, the one thing I wish is that I let it go a lot a lot sooner pain and suffering is meant to transform us but it's up to us to decide how long we stay in that point in our lives and if you're at a low point in your life or will be or have been don't stay there too long right i'm allowing myself to go and process whatever i have to do i cried this morning because now i have a fear that i'll wake up and lose someone else so it's very real i never wanted sympathy from people but it's okay for people to be sympathetic. It's okay for people to feel sorry for you. And it's okay to be the center of attention when you don't understand what's going on. So I will say this, running a business is not easy and life will always happen. And I want this channel, these videos to be a guiding light in the sense that you're not alone through anything. And that was the one thing I always wanted, so. Okay, so I wanted to share. So the Jamar Baby Blue. Oh, the numbers do matter, so I will share that. So it's 72 12 inch Baby Blue. The Baby Blue line seems to be a favorite of mine. So even with the 19 inches, but it's, you can still see the lines. Right here, you see that? Might go fully tough ticks in the near future. Um, so the camera fell, so I won't be able to record anymore, but I'm gonna continue. Blow up maybe no more than three or four bags and then get going. I really need a truck, like, or a van. Whatever I get first, um, because to do these balloons and then to do them on site, like, I didn't cut in it, so I'm speaking into existence. I need a truck, I need a van, I need an assistant, I need a team, I need a showroom. Six figure goals. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue blowing up and then I'll catch you guys up in a second. All right, so we are officially bagged and ready to go. I actually forgot to put the stand in my car. <laughs> So I am going to head out to put the stand in my car, possibly put my toolbox in my little balloon bin that I take with me every event into my car. So that way, all I really have to do is get these. I probably have to leave here around like 8.15-ish. I have to be there by 9 a.m. So I'm excited. I listen to some music. So if you are down and out listening to music as you do your little preparation or business work will always help you. My go to is 2000s R&B. I'm a true millennial <laughs> and it has definitely made me feel a lot better. So I know this video again is not what it seems but this is real life. So I wanted to keep you guys engaged on what goes on with ceos behind a balloon business or an event business i'm gonna head over to my storage i have to do a clean with me one of these days it's starting to get really hot here in florida we're in the 80s already and it's the end of february so i wanted to do this when it was cooler but it looks like it might be maybe next weekend well not for you guys you'll probably be watching this a little later on but it may be in the upcoming videos of a clean with me because that storage is driving me insane there's so many things that i have to sell there's so many things i have to get rid of because i need to make room for my six-figure business okay law of attraction says 
if you want bigger blessings into your life clear up the space for it to show up that's what i'm doing all right so let's head over there Got to close this door. Ooh. All right, so I know I showed you guys before, but look at my storage. See, this is kind of ridiculous. That was for, yeah, we because look how much space I have up top. I have to get shelves. That's what I plan on doing, just putting shelves against the wall because this took up all my floor space and this box just broke which has saved me a few trips but now i gotta figure out how to get there the hand truck that i have might not be ideal you see how this dolly is they have a flat bed one and it collapses as well so i may have to invest in that but this is the mess that i'm talking about my legs are itchy anyways so i'm packed my car's done I'm gonna close this up. And uh, this will be another video, guys, because. No, sir, no, ma'am. Okay. All right, let me lock it up and then I will tell you a little bit of what happened. All right. Okay. So we are good. To go <sighs> so one thing I wanted to share about getting a storage unit is that the rates <laughs> will go up oh, I shaved my legs and they burn now okay so when I first started it was like three four going on four years ago it's it's even crazy that there's that much time I got it for like 113 I believe I have an 8x10. It looks like an 8x10, right? And now, three years later, which again, with anything you rent, has the possibility of going higher in price or increasing in price. This is the thing that kills me sometimes about, not kills me, I shouldn't say that, but like it frustrates me with my designers who undercharge or anybody who's like, you know, should I be charging $100? Like, you have to think long term when it comes to your business. If you're going to need a storage room, like this storage will eventually become my showroom that I want to rent. Those are business expenses that you have to consider in your price point. I'm not saying that every design that you do has to cover that particular expense, but you have to take these things into consideration. A lot of people are scared to raise their prices, but it's something that's necessary in order to survive this industry and let alone in the business world. Okay, so I just wanted to share that. I'm about to go get some gas, so that way I'm done, I can rest up. I'm, this is the earliest I've ever stopped, because I'm a procrastinator and I always wait to the last minute. I, I don't know, I, I thrive under pressure for some reason. And before I end this video, gas prices is going up. Therefore, travel fees have to go up too. Just keep everything in mind. When everything goes up, so does your price point. Remember that. Good morning. It is Friday, February 25th, and it is 8.10 in the morning. Okay, we have to set up around 9, so I am packing up just the balloons. I have my husband helping me, and then I'm off. So, 
we're gonna try and get some footage the stand that I bought for my camera isn't the sturdiest it fell yesterday when I was blowing a balloon so I don't know if there's a table if there is a table I'll try and get some footage if not again I'll just show you the end results once we get there so let's see where it, where it takes us this is a new place so I don't know where I get and I get a little nervous with hotels because I always feel like I get lost and that's why I always leave a little early just because I don't know if it's a regular venue it's easier to just pull up you know where to go but hotels you just never know what room what floor so we're leaving a little early to give us some time all right let's get started all right so I am here I actually dropped off my stuff obviously you can see empty car hotels are are a little tricky I will say this so I always get I need help guys <laughs> pray that I get help <laughs> all right so I, again there were some tables in the room so I'll show you the before and after and then we'll go from there So, I'm tired. <laughs> I went to sleep at like 1.30. I got up at like 2.30. And then I finally, I beat my alarm. I woke up at like 7.28. So, currently it is 12.15. I got done pretty quickly. I was actually shocked at how fast I was done. I was probably done within an hour. I think it went well I didn't sweat as much as I normally do because again I was just shocked at how quickly I was doing things I have a couple of inquiries for the spring which is if you don't know anything about balloon businesses the spring is like probably the most where you'll get the most clients and into into the summer at least where I am in Florida right the weather's nice people started playing baby showers bridal showers so I have a couple of baby showers and a bridal shower coming up of course i'll take you hopefully by then i'll have help <laughs> i will say this i do feel somewhat a little better but like i said before earlier in this video creativity is what saves me from depression so if you're out of it if you're in a situation similar situation or if you've been in a similar situation of losing someone you love dearly just utilize what god gives you and have faith in that's why I have this tattoo on, you know, when in doubt. I have my own fears and worries, but I'm working on mentally getting stronger, you know, healing, crying whenever I need to. Like, it's okay to cry. It's okay to lean into your loved ones and let them just hug you and give you what you need. So that's why I'm feeling a little better. I got it out right yesterday, and I hope that no matter what goes on in your life, that you feel inspired and truly to understand that someone like me understands what you're going through so if you need help with getting clients in the door i do have a secret guide that you can download i'll link it down below this way you're able to get step by steps on how to get the book your dream clients versus like guessing like how i did <laughs> <laughs> um, and then if you're interested in any other resources I will link some videos for you to watch if not I love you all so much thank you so much for being a part of my journey my six-figure journey it's continuing and uh, we will see if this year we can get there and if, again if we don't forget close that's all right I'm out I'm happy for that all right I hope you all design your dreams into reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video